I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at I am super excited about today's video. Like more excited I think than I've been to film any other video or up there with some of my top faves. That's for sure. What I'm doing today is recreating Pinterest outfits. So you're scrolling through Pinterest and you see all these cute outfits and they're um, either on like, you know, really skinny girls or maybe not your body type, maybe tall or short or whatever. And then you think, okay, well, I'd really like that, but do I have to go out and buy something? So what I decided to do was on some of the outfits that I've had pinned, I mean, for a while now even, on Pinterest, that I'm going to recreate those outfits with the clothes that I have already in my closet and on a plus size body. So I don't think that any of the outfits really are even like shown on a plus size person and probably not anybody that's quite this short either. I don't know for sure. Now, they're not going to be exact, but they're going to be pretty close. And, you know, it's just like a jumping off point, you know? I mean, sometimes I struggle, you know, to put things together, and then I end up just wearing the same old, same old, you know, like jeans and just a regular old shirt or, you know, a sweater and whatever. But I don't think to put certain things together like this. Now, these are all, you know, winter, winter. I mean, I don't live anywhere where it's cold, but, you know, warm weather, winter, Southern California, winter, you know, clothes. Um, let's see. I have a pair of like a shorts outfit, a bunch of jeans outfits. But anyway, my point is they're all casual. So none of the fancy stuff. I don't own any fancy clothes. So I wasn't even going to try to find um, fancy clothes to make a video maybe down the road if that's something you'd like to see comment down below and let me know hey do a fancy one um, but for now we're sticking with casual you know weekend type attire or if you work in a place where you can wear jeans maybe you could wear these but anyway I have five different outfits for you so let's jump in let's start with the first one outfit number one not the same, the same kind of color, thick, you know, sweater, doesn't have the slits on the side, not wearing pointy loafer shoes, but I am wearing some brown loafers, got some distressed jeans, obviously not exact and not, you know, on a skinny body, but this just shows you that you can recreate outfits that you see on Pinterest with clothes that you have and for your body type. I really like this one. I definitely like this one. I mean, I could even like untuck. I like this also, you know, but she's got it tucked into, you know, one side right here. But I think this looks put together. It's perfect. Um, the sweater is very lightweight. This is from American Eagle. I've had it for probably three or four years. The jeans just recently got, that's um, part of the Torrid video. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. And then I thrifted these loafers quite some time ago. So here's outfit number one. I think this is the most basic out of all of the outfits that I have. You know, as far as just jeans, sweater, that's it. There's nothing, you know, too much going on. You know, I thought about accessorizing, like she's holding her Starbucks cup and, you know, everything in the original photo. But maybe down the road, I'll recreate actual um, Pinterest photos and we'll see. Anyway, on outfit number two. Outfit number two, wearing the same loafers that I had in the last video. Now there's lots of versions of this exact look on Pinterest. Some with um, different, with tennis shoes, some with loafers. Um, I kind of thought the loafers kind of went a little bit better with this particular sweater. Of course, an absolutely different color sweater different length but the same you know relaxed boyfriend jeans or just a cardigan and it's just i just have a tank top so this is perfect when it's you know you want something on your arms but this isn't a thick cardigan by any stretch of the imagination and the jeans are super comfortable i love them these are um from express absolutely love these jeans got them a couple years ago there's a video on that too so go check that one out also, but anyway, 
here's what it looks like from behind. I like this outfit. This is you know, you look a little bit put together, but you can be out and about doing things on Saturday instead of wearing, you know, sweats or just, you know, jeans and a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or, you know, whatever. You look a little more put together. And I like that because I struggle, like I said, to put outfits together where I look like I didn't try too hard, but I look like, you know, I got my life together. That's what I'm going for. So outfit number two, probably like this one the best so far this is only the second one but i think i like this one the best suits me i think it's more my personality than the first one i mean i really like the first one i i don't know i would probably wear that sweater with different jeans or whatever i don't know but this is what it's about right it's kind of branching out trying new things so outfit number two okay hear me out this one i think is a fail However, it might just be me. So I saw this, it looks super cute. And I always talk about how in Southern California, I can't wait for shorts and hoodie weather because it's never really that cold. Now, number one, your girl needs a tan. If I was tanner or tan period, I guess, this might look a little bit better. The jeans are a little snug. I like them a little looser in the leg for me, or the shorts, I mean. These are Old Navy. Recently thrifted them. I think that's also in the video. Um, this is also thrifted, and I just have a white tank top underneath. So, um, you know, just some long sleeves, a nice, comfy, um, real, it's a thin flannel. It's so soft and fabulous. I love this. I could live in this. The shorts are okay. You should have seen me trying to get on. They're a little tight, but that's that's fine. They'll loosen up. Um, I just have on my little camouflage um, tennis shoes. I might wear this with flip-flops, but these are winter-ish outfits, so shoes are probably a little bit more appropriate depending on where you live. So here's how the outfit looks behind. Like I said, I am not thrilled about it. Um, I don't care for my legs. That's probably the one thing I struggle with as far as my um, body image goes, like where I'm not the happiest. I try to cover them up as much as possible um, or don't accentuate them with tight things. But anyway, it is what it is. Outfit number three is shorts with a um, flannel. Outfit number four, um, you can see in the inspiration photo that she's wearing a beanie. I have plenty of beanies. Um, I'm not going to put one on because it's like 70 degrees outside, but this is fine for 70 degrees minus the beanie. Um, I have long sleeve. This is from, this is Lucky Brand. I believe I got these at Costco, Sam's Club, one of the two. Thrifted. Um, O'Neal um, flannel, express leggings, Eddie Bauer tennis shoes, and I've ha I have every piece of this already in my closet. That's what I'm saying. There isn't one thing that I bought for this video. So of course they're not going to be exact matches, but that's not what we're going for. So anyway, this is the most comfortable for sure out of all of the outfits. I mean, I'd be I can go anywhere in this. I mean, this would be my new uh, weekend uniform, I think. So, um, I've done versions of this before. I have a cropped van shirt and I'll wear um, leggings with a hoodie with that as well. But I do like this combination. And you know what? With the tennis shoes, I hardly ever wear these tennis shoes. I don't own a pair of white tennis shoes, which is kind of crazy. I own black ones. I have my checkered vans, which I think would look good, especially with this color um, flannel. I have a red one identical to this um, that would look cute as well for a little pop of color, but I thought I'd go for the black and white and gray look today. So here's what we're working with from behind. Covers up everything. You're not showing anything. Um, these are the most comfortable leggings that I own. They're not like compression leggings, but they are so comfortable. If you're in the um, market for some comfortable leggings, let me recommend Express. They're awesome. Outfit number five. This one's
one's also super comfortable. And again, I already had all these pieces and I wear them and I like them. I think that's another key thing is, um, you know, are you comfortable in the pieces that you have and then just putting them together in ways you wouldn't think about. So jeans, number one, are from Express, of course. Um, not sponsored, but you know, Express could sponsor me because I absolutely love their stuff. These are the Flex X jeans in a size large. So if you don't know, Express has um, these Flex jeans. There's like a couple X's at the end. So I don't know if they're Flex X or just Flex. But anyway, they have small, medium, large, extra large. And the large fits a size 14 to 18. And I'm kind of like right in the middle of the 16. So they kind of stretch with you so you can lose weight, gain weight, um, whatnot. And I think they go to... 20 to 24 I think is the extra large and then I do believe they start with um, a zero for the small I'll never look that low but anyway they're super comfortable they're stretchy I love these jeans I went through a period where I wore these jeans at least a couple times a week and you know then I haven't reached for them lately because uh, I've been trying you know the torrid jeans or whatever but I love these jeans I'm glad to be able to uh, resurrect them from the closet I am wearing the black and white checkered van now the inspiration photo she's wearing an all black shirt and I do believe those look like low-rise jeans I'm not about the low-rise jeans so these are I think they're mid-rise jeans um and this is a striped shirt instead of an all black shirt but same difference, just jeans and a black shirt. And you know, with a cute bag, I even have a checkered belt, would probably look pretty cute with this. Um, but with, you know, a great bag, you could, you know, run your errands, you could go get your, your Starbucks or whatever and look put together. Here's what we're working with from behind. Again, this one's super comfortable. These shoes are super comfortable. I love these shoes. Um, again, I don't grab them all the time because I just live in flip-flops. My feet get so hot if I wear shoes that I just, I trip out. Like the other day, I'm like, oh, I had shoes on all day. And I'm like, oh, I, where's my flip-flops? I gotta put my flip-flops on. And I don't care, it was like 40 degrees outside. Like I'm not trying to wear shorts and a tank top, but I'm good with some sweats and some flip-flops. But these are comfortable and I like them and they do look better than always wearing flip-flops well that's gonna do it for today's video as you can see you can take clothes that you already have in your closet and turn them into Pinterest worthy outfits you don't need to go out and buy any special things to make these great outfits just use Pinterest as your inspiration and roll with it nor do you have to be a size zero or some kind of model um, that's why I wanted to recreate these on a plus size body you can make the same outfits that look good on a size zero look good on a size 16. all you need is a little inspiration if you like this video and you stuck it out to the end, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out a ton. And I noticed that only 89% of people watching my videos are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's a little bell next to it also if you want to click that. That'll tell you every time I upload a video. I do vlogs on Sunday and some kind of structured type content video on Wednesday. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you want me to do that fancy Pinterest video or any other video suggestions. And until next Wednesday, I will see ya.